One more time. Getting better. Simon's gonna be disappointed that I didn't get three in the bullseye, but we'll take it. Taking you back to 2014 with a vintage Simon Whitlock darts review. Here we go, should be pretty good. Worldwide here. Yeah, we got a fun one today. I'm taking you back nearly a decade and I'll be reviewing the older Whitmore Simon Whitlock darts. Yeah, like I just said, these came out 2014. Now check this out. I had a very generous subscriber send me these darts, but th this was going back a little ways, probably about six months ago, sent me this set, brand new in the box, Simon Whitlock darts. Thank you very much, by the way, but I wasn't sure what to do with them, but Hey, I think a lot of you guys like these vintage or older dart reviews. So hey, might as well, right? So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Well, same thing we always do, take a close up look. I'll hit you with the stats and dimensions, give you a grip level rating. And then after that, we'll get them on the board, throw them for a bit, and I'm gonna let you know what I think of the 2014 Simon Whitlock darts. It's gonna be a fun review, guys. Here we go. Okay, bringing you back in time just a little bit with the old Winmar plastic packaging. Oh, I did want to show you this on the back really quick. So we've got Made in Kenya, and right there, 2014. So this slides open. I'm sure you guys remember this. And then inside, we've got the stock Winmore Alloy Stems, and look at that, Simon Whitlock Signature Flight. So I'm going to keep those in brand new condition. I don't need to break them out. I don't think I can replace them anyway. So those are going to stay in the package. And besides, here in 2023, Simon is using Condor Axe. So that's what we're going to go with for the rest of the video. But checking out his barrels, fairly basic front-loaded dart here. We have a little indentation right here in the middle, and there's a slight indentation right there in the back as well. But yeah, just basic multi-rings. Of course, we got the Condor Axe. These are a medium with the small. This is the small standard size. I'm not sure what he uses. I'm not sure if he uses the, the larger size or not, but Anyway, that's what we're going to go with for the rest of the video, but let's get a little closer look and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions of this 2014 barrel. Here we go. Here we go for real. Okay, guys, what do you think of that? We got some old school barrels with some new school flights and stems. And if you ask me, that's looking pretty good. So I guess we're going to start up front. They come with a set of 32 millimeter black coated points of which 28 millimeters is sticking out of the front of the barrels. And come on. These points are nowhere near aggressive enough for Simon Whitlock. We've got to get some board destroying points on there. Although I'm not going to change them out for this video, but yeah, these points just aren't going to cut it for Simon Whitlock. Now the barrels themselves, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 46, a rather short 46 millimeters long. In the barrel width at the maximum point, these three fat multi-rings on the front end, 7.2 millimeters wide. Now I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth. These are drilled out 11 millimeters deep in the back end. Now, if you're wondering about match weight back in 2014, actually not too bad. These are advertised at 24 grams, the lightest barrel, 24.14, 24.15, and finally 24.19. So only five one hundredths of a gram off from lightest to heaviest. Not too bad, one more, not too bad. But let's get a little bit closer look and I'll tell you about the grip on these barrels. And I think you can probably already guess, but yeah, let's roll into the next clip. Okay, so as you've probably already guessed, these barrels, yeah, not that grippy at all. Just a basic multi-ring here, although, again, this indentation right there in kind of the middle of the barrel would make for a good finger placement so you can get a repeatable grip each and every time. There's also another indentation right, right in front of this multi-ring here, and it goes all the way to here. So you definitely feel that indentation right on the back of the barrel as well. That could make a perfect marker for a rear gripper. But overall, yeah, that's just not a grippy barrel. I'm going to go ahead and give it a grip level 2.2 on a scale of 1 to 5. Now, looking at the front end, ooh, look at that monster lip. Ooh, that's no good, huh? 
absolutely going to destroy my brand new condors. So if you see this little speck of black there, we're definitely going to have to go with some Trident 180s. Eliminates that lip because I just can't be thrashing on some $14 stems and flights there. But that's what we're going to do. Throw them just like you see them. So let's get them on the board. Have a little bit of fun. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We're just going to have a couple quick throws. It's actually kind of late at night. I want to get this video wrapped up and uploaded first thing in the morning. One thing I noticed about these darts, for a Simon Whitlock dart, they're incredibly easy to throw. Now, I've thrown a lot of his recent darts, you know, like in the last two or three years, and I think we can all admit he uses some pretty weird or oddly shaped darts. I always have a hard time throwing his darts, but these, man, very, very easy to throw. Oh, last one got in there. I think that was the last dart, I couldn't tell. Front grippers, man, these things work perfect. I'm gonna throw these with a front grip, my uh, pointer finger and thumb, pretty much right on those three fat multi-rings in the front. Feels nice, clean release. Is that in? Yeah, that's in. Is that? I think that one went high. 140, I think that was. Oh, yeah, that second one was just a touch high. Hey, I kind of like that front grip. Now I'm going to throw these with my pointer finger and thumb right in that indentation. That works equally as well. So front grip, middle grip, and I'll get to the rear grip on this next throw. Here's three with that middle grip. Yeah, these darts feel really nice, really, no matter where you hold them. Ooh, 26. <laughs> All right, maybe I take that back. Now let's do three more with a middle with that middle grip. What the heck was that? Come on, get up there. I can't tell if that's in. <laughs> oh, it was, all right, there we go. Okay. I couldn't have left you a middle grip with a 26. Hundreds a little better. All right, now three darts with this rear grip. And again, there's that little indentation in the back. This dart is absolutely perfect front, middle, or rear grip. All right. Yeah, nice, perfect. And I tell you what, with these condors, wow, what a great dart. Whew, all right, hey, nice tight group. And that, hey, that's another 100. Let's go back, um, last one, three with another front grip. We'll try that one again. Yeah, this all around, great set of darts here. If you could ever find yourself a set, Go for it, pick them up, but I think these kind of go for a lot of money nowadays. But yeah, out of all the Simon Whitlock darts, I'm going to have to say these are my favorite. Oh, is that another? Oh, no, I thought that was a 140. Again, front grip. Man, wow, what a great dart. And I have to say, that was actually... Other than that 26, that wasn't too bad, was it? Pretty steady, right down the middle. Again, condors, man, they work well on pretty much anything. And I do have the tridents up front, so no damage to my expensive condors. But that's almost it for the video, guys. I do have one more clip for you. We'll get a 180 in there, and there's gonna be a sneak peek of a review, kind of a throwback review coming here in a couple weeks. So keep an eye on that one. Enjoy this last clip. Is that in there? Oh, hey, wait, I think it is. Oh. It's in. I wasn't sure about that third dart. Boom! Get in. Nice tight group for 7.2 millimeters wide, right? Hey, well, awesome. We will certainly take that. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the throwback vintage Simon Whitlock darts from 2014. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Always appreciate it. And again, thank you to the subscriber that sent me these darts. I appreciate that very much. Also, I'd be interested to know, what are your favorite Simon Whitlock darts? Comment down below and let me know. And if you enjoyed these throwback type videos, give me a couple weeks and I will be reviewing. I hope I can get them in the camera angle here. Can you see that? Let me get one up there. Oh, these are light, so I oh, couldn't get them up there, but those are the vintage from 2009, 15 gram Dennis Priestley darts. So that video, that throwback video is coming here in a couple weeks. And I think that's gonna be a good one because I will also bring out the vintage gold 15 gram Dennis Priestley darts. So keep an eye out for that one, guys. That's it for this video. Again, hope you enjoyed it and <laughs> we'll catch you on the next video. Oh, wait. <laughs> Later. <laughs>